Hello everyone, this is Brother Marcus here and today we are now on our day 184 in our 366 Days with the Lord Challenge and today our gospel reading will be taken from the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 9 verse 1 to 8 and if you're going to read this, this is, this is about the story of when the Lord healed a paralytic man and I would like to, to read to you the verse 2 because this is where we're going to get our reflection from. In verse 2 it says, and their people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. Napakaganda po dito mga kapatid kasi nakita po natin na meron pong isang paralitiko na gumaling. Not because of his faith, but because of the faith of the people who brought him to Jesus. And alam ko mga kapatid sa buhay po natin, meron po ang mga paralitiko din. There's a lot of paralyzed people who is around us. They cannot come to the Lord because they are paralyzed. Either because of their sins, either because of their doubts, either because of their, their fears, their anxieties. Pero doon po tayo papasok. This is where we, we, we will all come in. Maging katulad po tayo nung kaibigan nito pong paralitiko na ito na let us try to to care for one another and bring them to Jesus. Para po sa akin, napakalapit po nitong istoryang ito kasi I am also a product of someone na nagmalasakit at dinala kami sa gawain. Back in 2005, uh, 2006, meron po kaming kapitbahay. Yung ninang ko, ininbitahan kami umati ng gawain ulit. And it was my mom who first came with her. And the following week, I was encouraged to come, which I did. And ang, por- ang main motivation ko lang talaga nun, kasi yung ninang ko na yun, galante talaga, na kapagkatapos ng gawain, kakain kami sa labas. <laughs> no? At ito po talaga, hindi po siya nang hinawa, dalin kami sa gawain. Every Saturday, siya po yung gumagasos ng pamasahe namin, pagkain, etc. Para lang umatin po kami. And little did I know, Yung effort na yun na ginawa niya was the way of God for me to come closer to Him. Kaya nga nung umuwi kami sa Pilipinas, nagpasalamat ako sa kanya kasi sabi ko na sa lahat ng ginagawa ko po ngayon, ito po yung bunga ng kanyang paglilingkod at kanyang pagmamalasakit na daling kami sa gawain. Kasi siya yung naging daan para po uh, makabalik kami or mapalapit kami muli kay Yahweh El Shaddai. At ganun din po tayo mga kapatid no. Meron nga po tayong napakagandang kanta na sabi niya, walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Tayo pong lahat mga kapatid, meron pong pananagutan sa bawat isa sa atin. Maraming tao dyan, maraming kang kakilala, kaibigan, kamag-anak, co-workers. They cannot come to the Lord. Why? Because they are, they are living in sin. They are living with a lot of fears. Marami silang hesitation, marami silang setbacks, marami silang galit. At itong mga negativity na ito mga kapatid, you know, it's causing them to be paralyzed. Kaya kahit anong sabihin mo sa kanila, pumunta ka kay Lord, pumunta ka sa ganito, maggawain ka, hindi sila makapunta eh. Kasi they are paralyzed. Kaya ang kailangan po nating gawin, maging katulad po tayo ng kaibigan ng paralitikong ito. Buhati natin sila at saka natin sila dalin kay Lord. Kasi kung hindi man sila makarating, hindi kung hindi man sila makalapit kay Lord, si Lord yung dalin natin para makapag-minister sa kanya. At nakita naman po natin na no, walang taong lumapit sa Panginoon kapatid ang napahiya, ang pinagwalang bahala, ang walang napala. Kung sino man kapatid yung ilalapit mo kay Lord, talaga naman po na just being in the presence of God there is freedom. Ayun po yung sabi ni St. Paul, whatever the spirit wherever the presence of the Lord is, there is freedom. Freedom from what? Freedom from all of your paralysis. Freedom from sickness. Freedom from all of your doubts. Freedom from all of your fears, your anxieties of life. Pero ang susi, dapat mailapit natin sila kay Lord. And that is the challenge for each and every one of us, I believe, from this gospel. Na patuloy po tayong manalangin at let us allow the Holy Spirit to open our eyes para makita po natin yung mga tao na kailangan ng Panginoon. Para naman po, hindi man nila madala yung kanyang sarili sa kay Lord, tayo po yung tumulong so that we could bring them to God. 
At sabi nga po sa ating binasa, when Jesus saw their faith. At pag, pag nakita po kapatid ng Panginoon yung ating pananampalataya na meron siyang magagawa sa buhay ng ating kapatid, hindi po tayo bibiguin ng Panginoon. And I do believe mga kapatid that that is God's word for us today. May we be like these friends of the paralytic. Let us bring them to Jesus so that we could be blessed and we could be a blessing to the people around us. Maraming salamat po and God bless us all. Bye for now.